Today I'm going to be showing you how to UV mutagenize Halifax Volcanii and observe photo repair. What you'll need for this experiment is one master plate from which you'll get your cells, depending on the size of the class, a certain number of uh, high soil agar plates, quarters of cut up petri dish lids, a pen, scissors, q-tip, protective goggles, uh, aluminum foil, and saran wrap, and most importantly you'll need the exposure box. This, what I have here, is just a Xerox box that has a lamp with a um, UVC bulb in it inside it. Finally, what you'll need is an incubator, approximately 45 degrees Celsius, and what I have is a large styrofoam box with a heating pad inside. First, what you'll want to do is you want to label your agar plates. As you can see, I've already done this. What you do is you go on the bottom of the plate, and you divide it into quarters, and then you write zero, 15, 30, or 45 on both of the plates, and these numbers correspond to how many seconds you'll be exposing each of these sectors to the UV light. Then after that, you write either no LE or LE, which stands for light exposure, and this means that if you have LE, then you'll be exposing it to visible light or sunlight after you expose it to the UV. Now what you want to do is you want to get your cells onto the actual agar plate. So now you take your Q-tip, go slightly across the master plate and scrape a few colonies off. Then you take your agar plate, start at the top, and go softly from side to side all the way down to the bottom of the plate. Then you turn it 90 degrees and do the same thing so that you get an even number of cells on the plate so that when you're finished exposing them to UV, you'll be able to compare the sections of the plate to each other. You want to replace the petri dish lid with um, saran wrap so that you can allow the UV light to go through. So what you do is you get a piece of saran wrap and flip the plate over onto the saran wrap. And you take the edges of the saran wrap and bring it above the petri dish. And now this part is important. You have to take all the edges of the saran wrap and tighten them so that you get have as little wrinkles as possible. As you're about to expose the plate to the UV light, you want to have all the sectors except for the one that you're exposing covered with the petri dish quarters. So as you can see, I only have 45 exposed and all the other ones are covered. So now I'm going to take the plate and put it in the center of the bottom of the exposure box. Put the lid back on. And it's not really necessary, but the glasses look cool, so you're going to put them on anyway. And now you can see I have my timer set for 45 seconds. It looks really cool and yellow. Um, and as I turn the light on, I'm going to start my timer. All right. So I just finished with 15 seconds of exposure. So now I just remove the 30 second quarter lid. I'm going to place the petri dish back in the box and expose it for another 15 seconds. Now I finished with my light exposure plate. So what I'm going to do is put it right next to the no light exposure plate. Now my timer set. And now I'm going to come back after one and a half hours and put them in the incubator. Okay, so my one and a half hours are done. It's a big box. I'm just going to carefully put the plates inside the incubator. And you don't really need an incubator. You can leave them at room temperature for two to three weeks, but if you have the incubator at 45 degrees Celsius, then you only need like four to five days, so I suggest having an incubator. So I'm gonna come back in four to five days and check out the book.